Thank you very much. That's a very good question and a, a very good insight. The young population constitutes 60% of the population, as she has rightly put it. This 60% can influence and have any decision made anywhere in the world. As I said in my address, it's upon our young people to take the lead and the initiative to assert themselves and influence policy. Policy is lobbied, it is influenced through advocacy and through lobbying. We want to encourage our young people not just sit as bystanders at home. And as I said, I want once more to encourage our young people to seek for opportunities to provide leadership. And most of these positions are elective. And with the 60% of the population, our young people have no excuse at all not to occupy any position they desire anywhere in the world. They have the numbers. It's simply for them to put their act together and decide what areas they want to have influence. And then have a very pragmatic engagement with their peers of that particular age and seek for those positions and applying the superiority of numerical advantage, take over the positions and influence policy. And we need to lobby governments in Africa to create a regulatory framework that is friendly for young people who have no experience, who have no capital, to be able to get into the business world, to be able to be active participants of the economy. But that will be done through lobbying and influencing policy. But that cannot be done if our young people are not organized and are not determined. And I want to tell the participants in this conference, nobody will come for you at home and give you a position. You have to leave home and go and look for it. <laughs> and please, don't believe that story, that you are the leaders of tomorrow. No. Why do you want to be the leaders of tomorrow? Be the leaders of today. Anybody above the age of 18 is an adult for every practical purpose. So why would somebody be telling you when you are 25 years that you are the leader of tomorrow? The, the young people between the age of 18 and 35 are the leaders of today. Please, please, let the people of President Kagame's generation and my generation not confuse you and cheat you that you are the leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> you have the energy, you have the brains, you have the creativity, you have the numbers. Please put your, get your act together and once more I ask you, take your rightful place in the decision-making table. I love it. Thank you so much. We are the leaders of today, not tomorrow, right? I believe we have some football legends in the house today. Where are they? The football legends. This way? 